guys, today we're going to do a little diaper laundry folding video and I want to talk about my biggest struggle with cloth diapering. And I feel like everybody has struggles. I mean, maybe there's some people out there who magically get it right off the bat, but it does take, it can take some troubleshooting um, as things go along, as your baby changes, as you get new babies, maybe their needs are a little different than your first babies or just baby growing or just things change. And so cloth diapering really is a great way to teach you how to do some troubleshooting, how to fix problems and take care of things when they need to be taken care of. And so I want to talk specifically about my biggest struggle, which I would say has been absorbency and the changes in, absor in absorbency and changes in preferences for what works for our family. So if you don't know, I have two boys. I have two and a half year old, almost three year old Calvin sitting right here at the table by me. And I also have one year old Aaron right over there. Calvin is wearing diapers for nighttime still and naps if he takes a nap. And Aaron is still totally in diapers. Now Aaron has been in diapers since the beginning, since we got back from the hospital. Um, he did wear disposables in the hospital and we've gone through disposables at some point too. But um, Calvin, I actually didn't start cloth diapering Calvin until he was nine months old. Cover up my notes here. So do I have heavy wetters? I don't know. I wouldn't say that they're like extremely heavy wetters because I've heard about real heavy wetters from other mommies and you know, they won't soak through something in an hour, like unless they drink some juice or something. So they're, I don't think they're like extreme heavy, heavy wetters, but they definitely need some extra absorbency. Like a regular old cotton flat is not always going to do it for them. You know, like uh, a bird's eye flat, like some of the flats that came in these Elemental Joys are just regular 100% cotton flats and sometimes they will soak through that pretty quickly. So I don't know if they're really heavy wetters or not. Compared to other stories I've heard, they're not too bad, but they do seem to soak through some things quickly sometimes. But I still feel like uh, from the beginning, from when I first started cloth diapering, I've had to upgrade the absorbency on several occasions. And that can be really frustrating, trying to find your sweet spot, trying to find exactly how much absorbency you need. And I think everyone takes a different approach to that as well. Some people would rather just buy boosters to add to everything. I would rather just buy all new flats that can go the mile, that can, that can do it, that can actually hold as much pee as I need. Instead of just sticking with my, you know, this is just one of the Elemental Joy uh, flats that come into it in it I would rather upgrade everything to these green mouth diaper muslin flats that I know can handle it all just by itself than to buy like some little extra boosters to add to each one of these plus I feel like the flats are gonna cost as much or maybe even less than a couple of boosters anyway so I might as well just upgrade the whole insert and just stick to this one item instead of adding extra stuff into every single diaper. I hope that makes sense. So I started off with pre-folds and they were bamboo pre-folds and I guess I just didn't prep them very well in the beginning because I just felt like they weren't absorbing as much as I wanted. I moved into like the buttons brands of stuff with the snap-in inserts. I did snap-in inserts for a while with Calvin, but by the time our second came around, I was already pretty hooked on flats. I was ready to use flats 24 seven for him. And that's, you know, the majority of our stash is now flat diapers and Green Mountain diapers, muslin flats are the best, are my favorites. They're the ones that I will, if we're going out of the house, I always grab a diaper with a muslin flat inside because I know it's gonna hold a lot of pee and I know it's not gonna fail on me while we're out and about. However, I do use a variety of things for nighttime. Like I've got my, a bunch of different hemp inserts for nighttime. I have um, a Geffen Baby, one of the smaller flats, a Geffen Baby Flottle, which is a larger flat. This here on the bottom is a Thirsty's Hemp Pre-Fold. I love using hemp as like the extra booster absorbency for our nighttime diapers which are typically just a fitted diaper of some kind. This is a Green Mountain Diapers size extra large workhorse fitted. So that 
Matte fitted diaper along with any kind of hemp insert. That's our nighttime setup. And actually nighttime has been pretty good for us. We haven't had a lot of issues at all. And one solution definitely is to just put some wool pants on top. That's, if, if your nighttime diaper isn't holding up, just throw some wool pants on top and at least you won't have any wicking issues on the baby's pajamas or pajama bottoms or whatever. So I do think people have different approaches to upgrading their absorbency. Maybe your budget just doesn't allow for you to buy more stuff. So maybe your only solution is to change more frequently. Instead of changing baby every two hours, you've got to change baby every hour on the hour. And sometimes that's what it has to come down to if you don't, if you can't afford to buy more cloth diapers. We cloth diaper, in the beginning, it started out as maybe we could save some money in the long run because we did want a big family. We want to have four kids. You know, that's what we're thinking right now anyway. But, uh, you know, God willing. But it's just, we kind of just wanted to try it out and see how it would go. But there was a bit of it that was kind of like maybe we'll save money in the long run. But me being a cloth and diaper YouTuber <laughs> these days, um, finding a passion for cloth diapering, it's not going to end up being like that because I like to try new things. I like to review things for you. I like to give everything a little bit of a go and just talk to you guys about different things you can do with cloth diapers, you know, different setups and different systems that you can use. Um, I, I just feel very passionate about cloth diapers and I never would have anticipated that when I was deciding to start cloth diapering my little Calvin. So as a normal person, yes, you can totally cloth diaper on a very real budget, a very stringent budget, a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks would definitely be able to get by with it. But as somebody who enjoys cloth diapers and loves seeing different prints and just trying new things, I mean like me, that kind of person, like I understand how we spend too much money on cloth diapers. Some things just work different for different babies. I haven't personally, really experienced that side of it but i hear that a lot from cloth diapering people here online that some stuff worked really awesome for their first baby and it sucks super bad for their second baby or whatever so i understand that things can be different per different babies but i personally haven't really experienced that both of the boys have been pretty pretty uh pretty much the same using pretty much the same stuff has worked well for both of the boys um but like I said, I didn't newborn cloth diaper Cal, so I don't know about the newborn stage as much. I've only done the newborn stage one time with Aaron. I do just want to do a video all about like why I love flats and covers because that's my go-to system and I do love it. I love Grey Mountain Diapers muslin flats. You put those inside of any cover in the whole wide world and I'm going to be pretty happy. But I do understand the struggle. I understand how it's hard for some people starting off cloth diapering and not starting off with the system that they are in the end going to love the most because it does take a little bit of trial and error. Some people just prefer different styles of diapers and different types of you know systems. There's a lot of variety in the cloth diaper world that you might not have known about or even thought about before you started diving into the cloth diaper world. So I understand the struggle um, in the beginning when you can't find the system that you think is going to be your perfect system. But like people have also said, like Jay, especially on Jay's Nest here on YouTube, she's always talking about how, at least recently, that the Goldilocks diaper is this, it's almost like a, like a, a myth. It's not a diaper that you can actually obtain. There is no real perfect diaper that's going to work for every single baby, for every single family, for every budget, for everything. There's not a perfect diaper out there, but we all have our own opinions about what our favorites are. And so I do want to do a video in the future about what my favorite setup is and why. All the pros, all the cons, and all that good stuff. So if you want to see that video, let me know down in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up so I know to create that one for you guys. But yeah, I think that's about it that I, that's about all I've got to say for today. I'm done with my laundry pile essentially. So I will talk to you guys next time. Give the video a thumbs up if you did like it and let me know what else you want to hear me chat about here on this channel for our diaper laundry chats. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.